Let's talk about how Tesla designs and builds the world's most advanced manufacturing facilities faster than anything we've ever seen before. Tesla's gigafactories are able to go up so quickly and efficiently thanks to Elon Musk and Tesla's first principles design thinking. Basically, they take the status quo, throw that out the window, and then begin to solve their problem from the ground up. The same method that Tesla used to create their revolutionary electric vehicles has gone into creating the factories that now build those same vehicles. And here is how they do it. The method that Tesla utilizes to build their factories takes full advantage of prefabricated modular construction materials. And what that means is the structural components that make up the Gigafactory are first manufactured themselves in another factory before being shipped out to the construction site where the prefabricated sections are attached together to form a structure. You can think of it a bit like Lego. Actually, everything that you need to build the set is designed and fabricated in a factory, then packaged and delivered. So all that you have to do as the builder is assemble the pieces according to the plan and boom, you have a finished product. This is entirely different from the way that a traditional factory or building is made. Typically, all of the raw materials would be brought directly to the construction site, where every component of the building would be fabricated and assembled in sequential order. So foundation first, then support pillars, and so on. But that's not the way Tesla wanted to build their factory. So they applied something called first principles design. Our natural instinct as people is to rely on the common knowledge, the things that are just known to be true, even if we don't personally know why, or we reason by analogy, essentially taking what someone else is doing and putting our own spin on it to form a new idea. And that can lead to slow, incremental changes in the process, but it will never result in a radical change. In first principles, you start every new project from scratch and build from the roots. The basic fundamentals of the project inform every decision. You've got to imagine that factories do not exist and never have. You are building this new thing for the first time with fresh eyes for your specific purpose. So Tesla purposely ignored the calls from anyone who was previously in the business of building factories, and instead focused only on the end result they desired and the most effective way to get there. When Tesla designed their very first car, the Roadster, they just took an existing Lotus Elise body and crammed a bunch of laptop batteries under the hood and an electric motor into the back. That was not first principles. But when it came time to build the Model S, that's when Elon's philosophy came into action. And this is how Tesla created innovations like the skateboard chassis that is now standard in every electric car and holds the very specifically designed battery modules under the floor of the vehicle for better weight distribution. With the Gigafactory, they were able to go beyond just adapting a traditional car factory to make EVs they had the chance to build a Tesla factory for Tesla vehicles, a machine that builds the machine. And that started with how the factory was constructed from the ground up. So we know that the best environment to manufacture a product is in a factory, on a production line. So instead of sending all of your raw concrete and rebar and steel out to a construction site to build your pillars and beams on location, you can actually pre-build them in a factory and then just ship the finished product right to the construction site. That allows your on-site crew to focus on a singular task, like pouring the foundation. Then at the same time, your pillars are being prefabricated on a production line, so that as soon as the foundation is ready, the pillars arrive for installation. And then as the pillars are being installed, your support beams are being fabricated so that when their time comes, the pieces are ready to go straight into place. This way you are building your entire factory concurrently as opposed to sequentially. This process was used to great effect by Tesla when they constructed their Giga Berlin factory. That factory site is located right along a rail line. So Tesla was able to have a constant stream of freight trains bringing in their prefabricated components. The basic structure is made up of concrete columns that were combined with pre-made walls, roof panels, and steel trusses. 
By the way, if you're enjoying the content we create here on the Tesla space and would like to support us, check out our Patreon page. We've got some exclusive perks for our Patreon supporters, and it helps us grow the team and continue producing this content. Another key aspect of this strategy is modular design. That means instead of trying to build the entire factory all at once, you focus on building individual modules or sections. This way you can bring one module to full completion while other areas of the factory are still under construction. So you don't have to wait for the entire project to reach its end before starting operations. Modular construction allows for real-time iteration on the design. Experience from building one module improves the next. The faster you can iterate, the more you can learn. This is something that Tesla used to great advantage with their first Gigafactory in Nevada. The first module was specifically for manufacturing the Powerwall battery pack, and that came online in 2016 using imported battery cells. While simultaneously, work continued until Giga Nevada started producing their own cells in 2017. Giga Nevada is an interesting example, because you can obviously see that some of the originally intended modules were built but most of the original footprint is still undeveloped. So Tesla still has the option to come back and add on new modules in the future if they have the need. Giga Texas is the culmination of all of these design strategies. It was constructed as three primary modules running lengthwise with internal roadways separating the main buildings. And the entire factory was built up with prefabricated parts that were trucked in on the freeway that runs right beside the factory location. With this, Tesla was able to build one of the largest structures on the planet Earth in about the time it takes to build your average hockey arena. And speed is very important when we are talking about building these kind of mega projects. The longer the timeline, the more likely something is to go wrong or for the budget to get out of hand. All of the forecasts that are made for budgets and construction schedules are only accurate in the short term. Over a longer period of time, there will always be some external factor that brings in complications, like a pandemic, or a war, or economic downturn, or all three at the same time. So building as fast as possible is critical for success. Now, you might be wondering how Elon Musk and Tesla got so obsessive about the manufacturing process in the first place. There's one subject of conversation that Elon Musk brings up very frequently and has talked about for years now. The idea that designing a prototype product is relatively easy compared to the staggering amount of work that is required to manufacture that product reliably and cheaply at a high volume. Elon says that the manufacturing side of the equation is often completely overlooked, even though it makes up the vast majority of the product design cycle. It's 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration, meaning that the success or failure of your product is going to be determined by how good you are at manufacturing it. You can have the best design ever, but if you can't get it into the hands of satisfied customers and get money in your pocket, then your company is toast. And this is a lesson that Elon learned from his experience when Tesla tried to ramp up production of their first mass market electric car, the Model 3. There was no shortage of consumer demand for the car, but the factory hit a brick wall in trying to get them out the door and delivered to customers. They just couldn't build cars fast enough to keep up with expenses. The company was bleeding money and on the verge of bankruptcy. Obviously, that didn't happen, and in the time since, Elon has taken the necessary measures to make sure Tesla never comes that close to doom ever again. The solution was the Gigafactory. Now that Tesla has proven their ability to put up two Gigafactories at the same time in less than two years, there really appears to be no limits to what their production capacity might reach in the decade to come. So, now that you know the secret behind Tesla's ability to build Gigafactories so quickly, do you think they can do it again? And if so, where do you believe Tesla's next Gigafactory location will be? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. 
You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.